Hi guys, welcome to another OpenTunes tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about colors, which are called styles in OpenTunes, and I'm going to show you how to work with them so it's not so annoying, because uh, here is something to know about OpenTunes. Let me make a new level here. So it's different from most other drawing programs because you can uh, like get your brush and draw in a color, right? And then you want to change the color, so you come over here and change it. And to change the color, you press apply. But that changes your original color. It doesn't make a new color. So how do we make a new color? Let's make another level. I like to work in raster levels. Okay, so over here we have the level palette. This is where all of your colors will be. So far, we have transparency and black. So to make a new color, you want to go to this icon here. And sometimes when you hover over it, it says new style, but I guess not today. And click on it, and you'll get another little block. And this, you can change the color of. And I don't have auto apply on. If I had auto apply on, I could just move my cursor around the uh, color picker and it would automatically choose it. So I turn auto apply off so that I don't make any mistakes. And then um, let's choose a nice lime green. And then we press apply. And now we have a new color. And we make another one. And another. And this is how to make new colors. Every time you need to draw in a new color, you have to make a new style. Now this is very useful sometimes. I mean, sometimes it is annoying, but sometimes it's really useful. Let's say that we have an animation of a ball bouncing, and I'm just going to quickly sketch that in here. Okay, so we have our ball bouncing animation now. And uh, let's say that we don't like this color blue. So in a normal animation program, we would have to go through and recolor every single one of these frames to change the uh, blue. But in OpenTunes, because we have this complicated color system, we can actually just choose a new color in the style and press apply and it will change every frame that has that color. So this is really useful. Okay, let's look at a few different ways we can fill in color. Let's make two new colors. You know how to do this now new style and select a color and press apply and when uh, the paint bucket tool this is the universal fill tool in uh, programs so we go here and uh, we have mo type set to normal and mode set to areas this lets us use the paint bucket like it's a normal paint bucket tool and click on spots we want to fill and areas means that we can color anything that is not a line. In my other tutorial, I showed the difference between a line and an area. So uh, let's fill this in. Okay, now we can. Uh, that's how the normal and areas works and let's select lines and now we have like a hose or airbrush icon for this uh, function and we can click on lines and it will color them and this is really great if you want to work with color holds so let's make a color hold and now that looks really professional right and if you want to color everything Let's make a new style to color everything. 
we click lines and areas and this will color both the lines and the stuff we filled in entirely okay here's another trick I'm going to delete this object so we can test a new one let's say you have some super complex object and you don't really want to go in with the uh, fill bucket tool and do each individual section this is really useful we go to the type tab and click on any one of these I like freehand this means that we can draw around the object and it will color it all in for us we can do sections and this tool also lets us see when our lines are not connected because it won't allow it to fill so your lines have to be connected perfectly for them to fill alright now we're going to test out what we've learned here and make a background I do not recommend open tunes for making backgrounds but it is certainly possible and I'm going to demonstrate that here and this is going to be a multi-layered background so let's begin with the sky a dark blue night sky and we're just going to fill in the entire uh, frame here and let's add some stars I'm going to set this brush as small as it goes make a new style which is a much lighter color and start dotting stars in okay and we could use the eraser set to just lines to clean up some of the stars that turned out wiggly and we can actually turn hardness all the way down and make some blurry stars see when hardness is turned down on this brush it's all blurry and glowy so that's pretty useful if you don't want to use uh, effects nodes you can just make a few glows so that's what I'm gonna do alright now we have our starry night sky let's make a new level and work on the clouds so I have this style set up for the outline of the clouds and now I need the inside of the clouds to be a different color and the shading of the clouds to be a darker color and then we'll reset our brushes as needed and draw some clouds now let's get the fill in tool and fill these clouds in and get the shade color and shade it in now this is not the best way to shade things but just this once I'm gonna do it this way I'll show you how to use effects notes for um, overlay shading in another video you know what let's give these clouds a highlight as well so we'll select this style because we want the highlights to be based on this color and then select new style and this will give us a duplicate of the previous one and we can just go higher up in the color picker and have this nice light color but let's do it with this uh, foggy brush that's much better Uh, 
okay. Now this night background needs a few more things. It needs a city or just some mountains. How about just some mountains in the far, far background back there? And then it needs a moon. So let's make our uh, blurry objects in the distance. Gonna make it darker so we can see it. And then make a, another style for highlights. But it'll have to be a different color because that's really blending in with the night sky here. Okay. Alright, looks like mountains back there. One more thing to add is what we put in every background in a cartoon situation and that is a moon. So let's just scribble that in real quick. The overused yellow crescent moon. And I want it to be, uh, you see how sloppy that looks? That's because I have smooth on really low so I'm gonna turn it up so that my line is smoother. We'll fill it in with uh, white Oops. Okay, sometimes you can accidentally make frames in the wrong place, so what you do is just click on this green tab until the frame highlights blue, and drag it wherever you need to go. This works for entire blocks of frames. If you click it right, you can get the whole set. So let's extend this down to the bottom, and uh, start manipulating stuff in this background to make it move. So we're going to click on this spider web icon, I don't know what it's supposed to be, and select scale, this will let us shrink things, and position will let us position things. Let's move our clouds a little to the left, let's move the moon behind the clouds, and uh, you see this key here, this is a keyframe, so let's go to the end of this sequence, Let's make this sequence a little longer. I'd say three seconds. Okay, and then we go to the end of the sequence and make another keyframe by just... Well, there's a, another way to do this, but it's more complex, and uh, I have a video on how to do camera movement in the effects tab, but for now, I'm just gonna stay in this normal uh, X sheet and move the clouds a little. And uh, let's make these stars seem like they're twinkling or something. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And then at the end, I'm going to shrink it just a little so that the stars look like they're kind of, sort of moving. And then one of the, this is the preview setting. And we can see how it looks. Alright, that is how to manipulate colors and make a background in Open Tunes. And I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If there's anything that I didn't explain clearly enough, let me know in the comments and I'll try to uh, make it understandable. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Check out some of the other tutorials and videos on my channel. And uh, I will see you guys later.